to three weeks for the parent who did not give birth. In some cases, uh, the services are seeing that they're competing with the private sector for retention and for new talent. And so to be able to package this as part of the benefit that you have in joining the military, in addition to other wonderful things that come along with military service, it will make a big difference. But there is no question about uh, asking about leave policy. DOD leadership said commanders must balance the leave with the needs and requirements of their units. And now, your Storm Center 7 forecast with meteorologist Robert Gotro III. Quick follow-up on that uh, vote in the U.S. House for Speaker of the House. It uh, looks as though Mr. McCarthy has failed for a 14th time to win the 218 votes. We will keep you posted. Well, uh, first time in 160 years we're talking about it's taken yes. more than nine times. Yes. Nine votes. Yeah, yeah. Once in a micro moon, you could say. Oh, okay. What you're talking about yeah. 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 What is a micro moon? But, well, I, the thing is, you had a good question, though. You said, can you see it? Yeah, well, it depends. I mean, we will be able to see the moon a little bit tonight. It's going to try and sneak through the clouds, and it has a lo little bit already, but, you know, we're going to see some partly cloudy skies overnight. There may even be some times where it's overcast, but it should be a broken up a little bit more than what we had earlier today, which seemed like it was very, very cloudy. Now, it's the first full moon of the year, and it's the first micro moon. It's kind of like the super moon, which is a little bit bigger than normal. This time it's a little bit smaller than normal, about 14%. So your naked eye probably wouldn't tell too much of a difference looking at it in the sky, but with a telescope or even comparing it to the supermoon, you might be able to tell. So it is the first one, and also if you look not too far away, you might even be able to see Mars. It seems like Jupiter and Mars have been real close to the moon every few weeks or so the last couple months, but you see a, kind of a bright star with a slight reddish tint, that's going to be Mars. Now, temperatures this morning got down to 30, well, at least the coldest temperatures of the day were 32 degrees. This morning, in fact, I don't think they were even that cold, but we're going to get even colder tonight with temperatures dropping into the mid-20s, and that's especially if we see a little bit of clearing that'll allow a lot of the heat from the day what heat we did get to drop now this is as warm as we got 37 degrees in dayton so you'll notice that's not a big change the temperature has been varying only by a few degrees the last 12 hours or so right now we're looking at 33 in dayton some of us are below freezing you can see the 20s especially near the state line indiana you can see 27 in richmond 27 in liberty we're not freezing yet in Dayton, but we will be. I mentioned we're going to be dropping down into the mid-20s. Right now, though, we're looking at a little bit of cloud cover in Dayton, 33 degrees, with winds still out of the west-northwest. They're not going to be very strong, so at least it'll feel mostly like the actual temperature outside. It won't feel like the negative whatevers we had a couple weeks ago. Now, you can see some of that cloud cover, the thick cloud covers in the white, and it's you can see some receding, real low-level clouds kind of moving up here to the top right part of your screen, that's the northeast, and I drew it out here for you, that's the low level cloud cover that's starting to recede a little bit, so that's why hopefully you will be able to see a little bit of the moon kind of poke through, but we still have plenty of clouds off toward the west, but that line of low level clouds is finally starting to recede a little bit, and that'll lead to, again, some cooling temperatures, but you might even see some peaks of sunshine tomorrow, so it should be kind of a nice Saturday, just slightly milder than what we had today. And that's actually going to be the trend. We're moving back to the 40s, which is a little bit warmer than average for this time of year. As far as rain or snow, we're dry across most of the state. Up in the northeast, though, Cleveland to Pittsburgh, you can see a little bit of snow moving through. We'll see our chance of snow, too, here across the Miami Valley. Some partly cloudy skies you can see illustrated here on the Futurecast. Moving into the afternoon tomorrow, peaks of sunshine. But then Sunday, we'll have a system move toward our south. Now, with some cooler temperatures, that may bring a few spotty flurries our way. You can see here indicated in blue. So don't be surprised if we see a little bit of snow falling, perhaps even some rain showers if it's warm enough. We only have a high of 39, so there's a good chance we could see some snow flurries. Now, temperatures in the next week, like I mentioned, in the 40s, looking drier than Sunday. I, I see some evidence of some rain Thursday and Friday, but we'll have to get a little bit closer. Robert, thank you. Well, new hope for Alzheimer's patients. The drug that just got the green light from the FDA.